Hi there, I'm Camilla and in this video I'm gonna share with you my go-to line and wash flower. Yes, I think we all have one, but uh, you know that flower where we, if we're sitting somewhere and we're kind of just grabbing our fine liner and uh, pretending we are listening or do actually listen, but then we start doodling. We don't have any references not really anything to kind of guide our lines and then we have this flower in our head that is kind of just built in our muscle memory that is our go-to flower you may have more than one i do have a couple that i uh, always sketch but this is my number one go-to flower and it is puppies 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 i love puppies red puppies they are absolutely incredible and um, that is the reason why it's actually on the cover of my book as well um, Ink and Wash Florals and it is why in the book there's actually not just one but two chapters on puppies uh, one on a single puppy and one on on a uh, composition of puppies so do really love puppies and that is definitely my go-to flower so I want to share with you how to quickly sketch that today and um, I'm gonna start out with my 01 just because that is a nice base and uh, that is just the one I would probably be sitting with holding my hand when I'm kind of taking notes to a meeting or something like that and uh, I would probably start out just with one leave and I actually think I'm gonna switch this because it is worn down mm. okay I have one again I would probably just start out by doing one petal mostly focusing on the shape and on this outer line here. Then I would do another one. Kind of tuck behind. And then just to kind of give it a little bit of life, I would give it another one kind of going that way. We can add a stem to this as a some life to it so that is the first one then I would be like mm, I wanted to have this is from the side I want kind of a one that is showing from the uh, kind of looking into this flower so I would start with center and then I would keep kind of the smaller ones here maybe another one here and then just kind of tucking in some bigger ones here behind maybe just letting it hide behind that one a little bit and here as well and uh, I think we this needs kind of a stem too and we could add a small seed pot to this one you can see how this is really just very much a doodle and uh, when we are sitting at meetings and doing our go-to flower we will very often just doodle so I think this is really nice i would either if i was sitting at a meeting i would probably just continue with this one but since we are not in a meeting i would probably switch it up with a 005 so just a smaller one um, and if you are unsure how to choose your uh, fine liner sizes i actually have a video on that so you can 
check that out afterwards if you wanna want a little bit of guidance in that. Just adding some lines. And this can get, especially if it's a really boring meeting, this can get really intense where you just kind of stare down at your paper, adding all these lines. Um, but it's really just to shape your flower and it's really just so nice. And you do like, look like you are taking notes at the same time. I don't know what it is about puppies. I really uh, tend to do them a lot. Uh, when we were, when I was younger, my we always uh, very often took uh, went on vacations in France, where there's these great puppy fields. And I think that has maybe somehow got stuck in my brain. I'm just shaping. And remember less is more, but if we are stuck in a meeting and just, especially if we only have a few <laughs> go-to flowers, you can totally just doodle away. Maybe you do a, a lot of go to flowers. You can do an entire poppy field if you like. But of course, poppies might not be your go to flower, but it's just, it's mine. Which is why I'm showing you this. So we can kind of share our go to flower. <clears throat> and I would love to hear in the comments which flower you tend to sketch at. Uh, meetings or whenever you are kind of stuck with a with some time and a sketchbook but no references I think it's different for all of us you can see how this is just doodling away um, adding some more darkness here and there just to get some depth and of course this one has, in the center we have these seeds around it, so we want to add that. Just marks all the way around, some lines. This one could get some texture. And at meetings, we might not have watercolors, but I am going to use just a little bit because we are here and uh, just, you know, chilling, having fun. Oh, and I almost dipped my brush into this candle that I lit because it's really, really cold today and raining. Don't do that. I have water next to me. It's much better to dip in water. So just wetting my petals here and uh, I'm gonna use a very bright red for this and just letting it flow, oh that's pretty, into this, these uh, petals. This is really pretty, I love it. I'm not going to touch that much more, I think. Look at that bloom. Oh, love it. I'm gonna use a... Putting it here. Just to kind of... I want to separate these inner petals a little bit from the outer ones. Maybe it... So just leaving some white space will help doing that. And then I'm just gonna add some water here. And then dipping in some more paint here. And if you can hear my stomach, that's just because I really need to grab an apple now, <laughs> I think. There you go. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of green, just because it's Nice to have a little bit of color variation. 
and uh, this is a green gold mixed with the red I already had in my in my brush I'm just adding a bit of green to these so this one as well will just give it a little bit of pop and just for the fun of it I'm gonna add a few splatters too and maybe just a little bit of water and that is it this is my easy go-to flower and uh, I hope you maybe want to try this one but also just uh, let me know in the comments which is your go-to flower what <laughs> I hope that was some inspiration for you and uh, you might want to think about what your go-to flower is. I would love to hear in the comments what flower you are kind of drawn to when you are sketching. And uh, maybe it's puppies, maybe it's something else. I like to have, uh, I have daisies as well, kind of a go-to, but often Often it's these very simple flowers with uh, that we kind of just, you know, there's a center, there's flower petals around. And uh, almost like we learned to sketch in uh, kindergarten. And it's kind of getting stuck in our head. But often we go with flowers that we are really attracted to, that we really love. And uh, there's always a good reason why we, we love it. So, what is your go-to flower? And... Uh, Maybe you can try the puppy as well and make sure to share it on uh, on my Facebook group and on uh, on Instagram if you feel like doing that. You can tag me there and just have a wonderful, incredible day. Bye.